Are you looking at coming to LaGrange, Georgia and you're looking for a great hotel to stay at? We are at this Homes to Suite right here. I'm gonna give you guys a full and complete hotel tour of this place. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products and places that we go to and hotels we stay at. So if you're interested in that, you might wanna consider clicking that subscribe button and hit the bell. That way you actually get notified of our videos. It's right next to the subscribe button. So before we go in, I gotta show you this. I know exactly why they put this particular hotel right here so we are right now in between Montgomery Alabama and Atlanta Georgia and Columbus Georgia which is just uh, south of here and for whatever reason kind of out here I guess it's because it's in the middle of all those places Great Wolf Lodge built a Great Wolf Lodge resort way out here and so uh, this is a good uh, we've stayed at Great Wolf Lodge before they are kind of expensive but uh, this would make a great alternative hotel if you don't want to play the Great Wolf Lodge prices so definitely Definitely a great place to stay if you're trying to save a little money and still do the Great Wolf Lodge thing. That being said, let's get into this hotel so I can show you guys all around. We're getting, they're doing breakfast right now because it's kind of early in the morning. So since there's other people eating in there, I may not uh, talk too much while we're in there, but I'll kind of show and I'll talk kind of quietly, maybe like this. And then we'll go up to the hotel room and I'll show you guys all of that up there. So whenever you first walk in, they have this little seating area right here with a nice little fire pit. And then they have some eating tables outside. You walk in through the double doors here. This is the eating area. And that is the breakfast that they have right there due to the coronavirus. It's, uh, it's very limited. And they have some things that you can get right here at the market. Over here they have the spin to cycle, which is basically their workout room. And they have uh, weights that you can lift. They have towels in there that you can use. They also have the laundry facilities in here as well if you need to take advantage of those. There's plenty of uh, like uh, ellipticals and treadmills, weights. You have a bench here. You got a weight machine here and some of these uh, medicine balls. And you got a little bouncy ball. I don't know what those are called. I always forget. Yoga ball, is that what that is? And they also have, we use this a lot to refill our water bottles with is uh, just a water station here. And then of course they sanitize everything and whatnot. And these are all your towels you can get here. And they have a, even a hamper there for them all. Let's see, let me go out and show you guys the pool area before we go up to that hotel tour. And walking out this way, there's gonna be some people out here so I'm not gonna talk too much. But that right out there is the nice pool area. We utilize that quite a bit. And the sunset was really nice going over the tree line over there as well. Let's see, let's go on back on into here. And we will ride these elevators right here. I'm pretty sure that this is a very new hotel as well. So uh, the amenities here are very nice as far as just the way everything looks. This elevator is in pristine condition. We're on the third floor here. So we're gonna go on up to the third floor. The elevator looks super nice, uh, very clean. I like the, the contrast of the dark with the light top. Just makes it look really good. Got the metal bar here, nice modern look. And then of course they have the advertisement thing that they can do right there. Um, excuse me. Walking out of the elevator, we are staying in room 324, which is this one right here. And once you walk in, big heavy door. One thing that I like and I don't like, it's I like it because it's gonna keep a lot of the sound out but what I don't like is whenever you're trying to get your luggage cart into the room uh, it's almost like a two-person job you have to have someone holding the door so that you can actually roll your cart in so that's definitely one downside but I think the upside is better than the downside since it can be alleviated with two people but you do have same type of hardware here it looks very nice very durable got the lock on there and then you also have this lock right here so that nobody can get in that way uh, light switch right here get a little extra light you start off here with your kitchenette you have a refrigerator freezer right here all emptied because we just got rid of everything but it's uh, nice and cool and keeps everything cold you got a lot of space for vegetable bins so if you're staying here for a long time this would be a great little fridge to have uh, for long stays I did give you a rack right here for some plates. I believe everything is in the dishwasher. We honestly didn't use any of the dishes. We ate out both of the nights that we were here. But just to give you guys an idea, they give you these plates there. 
And then they also have like the Corningware type of thing with the lids for them if you want to save anything. They give you a strainer here to make some pasta. I don't even know what that thing is. What is that? Do y'all know what that is? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> and then on top, we have some bowls, Corningware, about six cups, glasses. You have mugs and then some uh, utensils right there to cook with. It does come with a Cuisinart. Uh, I guess I'd be a coffee maker or tea maker, hot water maker. <laughs> and uh, got the brew basket in there. We mainly just got the coffee downstairs. That way we didn't have to deal with this, uh, this little machine. But they do give you a few, uh, you know, all the things that you need if you want to have like a late night coffee or something like that. They do give, this is a detergent that they use, the dish bag aqua stuff. Ice bucket. Uh, you got a nice swan neck faucet right here which i really like in the deep sink so that you can actually get your your dishes in here and not have this in the way got water pressure right there looks very nice hot water was hot the cold water's cold <laughs> just as it's supposed to be and you have your paper towel holder right there nice easy modern look and very easy to get the paper towels on and off uh actually this is a really cool design i like how they did that and then you have your drawers right here for some utensils drawer right here and a drawer right here with a toaster in there. Under here you have a, a trash can and then of course the piping for the sink and all that type of stuff. And then they have another shelf over here where you can hang your mugs, but we mainly just use it to place things up there that we need. We bring food with us. You have a nice GE microwave here with this, uh, the turntable right here so your food gets cooked. Very large too. You get a nice large cavity there to be able to uh, heat up everything with. And that's a look at the button selection there. Across from that is your bathroom. First thing I notice are those three hooks right there on the top, which we use these to dry our bathing suits, which are great for. Right below that, you have an American Standard toilet right there. Uh, works great, the flush. What's nice about the flush, and the reason why I did that is because it's not very loud, which is super nice. Very clean toilet. They do a great job of cleaning everything here and very pleased with that over to my left we have our faucet hey and we have a uh, pressure right there it's a nice kohler sink and faucet i really like the look of it very modern sleek looking actually we've stayed in another homes to suite before and this one is definitely a lot more updated than the previous one i'll put a link to that video at the end of this video uh, so keep watching to the end if you guys want to see the the comparison between the two now going over here oh actually you have two drawers i want to mention this you have two drawers there's a hair dryer in here so if you do like to put your things away for again for a long stay you can do that you got the double toilet paper roll there pipes right there and then you have towels and washcloths right here as well a little trash can down there on the other side here you have a sliding glass door uh, shower there is no bathtub in here it's just a shower you have three nice long shelves right there of course you have your pull-up bar for all those who need that and then let's see let's take a look at our pressure here on the shower head so I'm gonna turn this on it does take a second for the hot water to come but you bring it all the way over for the hot on this side to be cold what we did is brought it all the way to the hot and then we slowly just kind of raise it up this is a look at our pressure here this is a, I believe, a water pick shower head, if I'm not mistaken. It actually has uh, three different settings on there. It's really hard to do, though. That was the one complaint that I have, is that it took me a lot to be able to actually get this thing to turn. And it's really hard doing it with one hand. Oh, oh, can I get it? I thought I heard it click. Ah, hang on. Let's see, we're going to do it like this. Hang on. Let me get two hands in here. All right. There's the other setting right there. It's kind of that massage uh, in the middle type of setting. So that's a look at your shower head and then they have the Neutrogena shampoo right there and then an invigorating shower gel right there that comes standard with the hotel. Uh, so you don't need to bring any of your other things in here. That is a look at the bathroom there. We were very pleased with it. Can't complain. Got your light switch right here for your mirror with a nice diffuser uh, top on it. And then this one right here is for your vent, which is right up there. Now, coming out into the main living area, we have three kids, so we utilize this pull-out bed right here. Uh, they have a couch. This folds up into a couch, obviously. Uh, but they gave us plenty of linens and pillows and whatnot to be able to make this into a nice comfy bed for our son. And he very much enjoyed that. 
We have, uh, again, lamp here. It's got the outlets on the side. It even has the USB on the side there as well. So if you want to power up all your electronics. Got an extra little table hidden under here, which is always nice if you need that little bit of extra room, maybe to eat breakfast on or something like that. Opposite of that, we have our table here. This is a dining room table that you can pull out. The one thing that I don't like about Homes to Suites compared to other hotels we stayed at is that there's not that many chairs if you do just wanna cook yourself a meal here and then be able to uh, pull out the table and have some chairs. What we've done in the past is folded up the couch and then we bring the table over to the couch and then there's one office chair right there right there that you can utilize to eat on the other side of the table if you want. Um, got a little lamp right here, a little desk lamp and plenty. The one thing I do like about well, Home Sweet, and I've said this before, is that they have plenty of outlets here, which is awesome. And also lots of shelving space, like all the way throughout here. In fact, the other one that we've been in had shelving units all the way across. So I, I do like that about the Homes to Suite. There's lots of storage space that's high, especially if you have a baby, which we have a baby and he likes to get into things because he's two years old. And so uh, having it just, you know, raised up like that is, is perfect so that he can't reach it. Uh, coming down over here, we have a nice LG TV. I don't know the model number. They do wrap the remote in here to show that it's sanitized. And you can actually just use the buttons through the wrapper so we didn't even take it out of there. Um, down below the TV, you have the extra linens that go for the uh, bed here. And then you have three drawers here. There's your Holy Bible in that one. And you have another drawer there. And you have another drawer there. Nice deep drawers, great uh, track set it's on. It's like a ball bearing track right there. So they go in and out very easily. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention in the bathroom is that this toilet seat is one of those ones where you can't really slam it down. So if you have kids, they're not gonna come in and slam the toilet seat in the middle of the night or anything like that. So I like that a lot. Uh, and safety feature for the baby. Uh, these are the cushions that go onto this bed. We put them right here because our, our baby sleeps usually down there on the ground. We make them a little pallet. But I wanted to show you guys that this shelving unit right here on the side of the bed has these two outlets plus two USB outlets right there. So you can get all of your charging stuff, your phones, your laptops, your computers, your tablets, your cameras, whatever you have. There's plenty of room to charge right there. We slept in this bed right here super comfortable oh my gosh we got such a great night's sleep in this bed uh i highly recommend it super uh krista my wife said it was a little bit more firm than our mattress at the house but i found that i slept so great on it we're looking at a let's see they got the downs on here this label at footbed july fire blocker i was trying to find the name of the mattress here what do we have a surter Serta Perfect Sleeper, Sweet Dreams 2 by Hilton. So I think that's a mattress that they specifically make for the Hilton hotels, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe y'all can let me know down in the comments below, but super comfortable there. I had this waffle weave blanket last night. This thing, it's like nice and heavy, but it's not very uh, thick. So it was perfect for me. I really like to have some weight on me whenever I'm sleeping and that did the trick for me, especially with the AC right there. Oh, I didn't show you guys the AC controls too. Got a breaker box right here and then your AC is right here and you can easily bring it up and down uh, or you could just do a constant fan, put it on a fan speed or you have uh, uh, just your mode heater cool there. It's an Amana uh, uh, thermostat there. Got another desk area right here. Again, more plugs. There's a little trash can and recycle can right down there if you guys uh, need to utilize that. There is another shelving unit here. And then you have another three deep drawers right here. So you can really, they give you a ton of space here. That's one thing that I really like about this hotel. And then again, you have another cabinet on the end here with the cabinet shelving units on the top. Now, right up here, you have this cool little uh, closet area. It's got just a little curtain to kind of close it up. Our kids like to put their toys in there, which uh, gets it out of the way, which we really like. But you also have your hangers there. We're utilizing the laundry bag that comes there. They do have a luggage rack, although you don't really need it with all the space that you have here. You have an ironing board and an iron right there, a little Sunbeam Hospitality iron. This is a look at the air conditioning unit right there. Like I said, it's an Amana. This thing kept us super, super cool at night, uh, right at the temperature that we like it. So it was perfect for us. And then they have this little ottoman here that goes over there with the bed. We put it right here because our son, our two-year-old likes to look out the window. So we did that. I've mentioned this too about Homes to Sweet is they have these awesome blinds here. That's just the diffuser blind, but they have this one here. 
This thing blocks out all of the light whenever you're looking to go to bed at night, it, especially if you're going to bed before the sun sets. This thing was absolutely perfect. Or if you like to sleep in, uh, I love this shade that they put on their windows here. It makes for the perfect sleeping situation. Again, just like the other side over there, you got the same outlets right there. You got a little lamp up here with another little plug right there. They even have the little plug keepers right here. This thing that you can put your cords through. I really like that. Um, our daughter slept on this bed right here. It's again, super comfortable. Got the telephone here in the middle. You do have this alarm clock. It's super bright at night. So one thing that I do is I just put it up against the wall because it's too much light. But um, we didn't really use this because we use our phones, but just to give you guys an idea of what they have there, it's your basic alarm clock, nothing too fancy uh, going on there. And they do have a couple of extra open plugs right here in the middle as well, if you guys need to utilize that. And you can put like some books or shoes or whatever down here. Um, let's see. All in all, this hotel, the modern look and the, the newness of this hotel is what sold me on this hotel. If you guys want to go see what an older homes to suite looks like, we were recently in Gainesville, Florida. I'm going to put that video right there on the screen of the homes to suite that we stayed here in, Gain in Gainesville. So if you guys want to see that video, I'll see y'all in that video. Click that one right there. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated and dad out.